This is a video recording for Chapter 5, Linear Equations in Two Variables. Topic 5.1, Meaning of Linear Equations in Two Variables. Let's recall what we have learned last year. We learned what Cartesian coordinates are. We know that for an ordered pair such as this, 5 refers to the x coordinate. The 3 refers to the y coordinate. So here we can write down that x equals to 5 and y is equals to 3. We also learned how to draw a straight line graph using ordered pairs. We need at least 3 points to plot a straight line. The third point is used for checking. We are also familiar with uh, equations linear equations with one unknown. Over here, we have an equation. The only unknown here is x. So there is only one unknown. In this case, it will only have one solution. Only one value of x will satisfy the equation. We can easily find out what that value of x is. So 2x equals to 5 minus 3. 2x equals to 2. x must be equals to 1. We can try other values of x, place it into the equation, you will see that the left hand side will not be equal to the right hand side for any other value of x other than x equals to 1. Now we are introduced to a new type of equation. This time 2x plus y is equal to 5. This is an example of a linear equation again in two variables. They are x and y. We have learned the word variable from our primary school science. So variables are things that can change. So in this case, x and y, they can both change. When, some, when x changes, y will change. When y changes, x will also change. So for example, when y is equal to 1, what is the corresponding value of x? So to do that, we need to have some working. Okay, so let me just do it at the side. When y is equal to 1, we have 2x plus 1 equals to 5. So 2x must be equal to 4 and x equals to 2. So this is the corresponding value of x. Now we have an ordered pair. Write down the x coordinate first, which is 2 and the y coordinate which is 1. Let me give you another example. What happens when y is equal to 2? So we have 2x plus 2 equals to 5. Then we have 2x equals to 3. x must be equal to 3 over 2. So the ordered pair will therefore be 3 over 2 comma 2. And if you were to work out the last one for yourself, we see that x will be equal to 1 and the other pair will be 1 comma 3. I want to challenge you to rewrite the equation 2x plus y equals to 5 into the form y equals to mx plus c. Okay, so just recall what your m stands for, what the c stands for, and here we again have two variables, x and y. They are, the, they are the parts of the equation that can change. Okay, now how many solutions do you think this linear equation has? What do we mean by the solutions? Recall in the linear equation with only one unknown there is only one solution and that one solution is x equals to 1 there were no other values of x for which the equation is true okay so let's take a look at here our linear equation in two variables are there is there only one value of x for which the equation is true. 
we have just shown you three different values of x with three corresponding values of y such that the equation is true. We can always do a quick check. Let us try when x equals to 2 and y equals to 1. So left hand side, when x equals to 2, we have 2 times of 2 plus the value of y which is 1 and this gives us 5. What about the right hand side of the equation? It is also 5. So since the left hand side and the right hand side are the same, then we conclude that x equals to 2 and y equals to 1 is a solution. What about the second row? When the left hand side is equals to 3 over 2. When the left hand side is 3 over 2, we've got y sorry when x equals to 3 over 2 we've got y equals to 2 we add them up and we get 5 again so right hand side is still equals to 5 so since the left hand side and the right hand side are the same we conclude that when x equals to 3 over 2 and y equals to 2 we've got another solution so likewise we can carry on multiple times okay we can try any value of x we like we will get a corresponding value of y we can get any value of y we like and we find a corresponding value of x so let us try to represent the ordered pairs on the coordinate plane below okay so this is our coordinate plane the number on the left of the ordered pair will be our x coordinate the number on the right is the y coordinate so let us start with 2 comma 1 first. So 2 is over here and 1. So this is a point. Mark it with a cross. Next point, 3 over 2, which is 1 and a half, comma 2. So 1 and a half over here, comma 2. This is my next point. Finally, the third point, when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 3. So now I have represented the ordered pairs on the coordinate planes below with these little crosses. So currently these three crosses, they represent the three solutions that we currently know for the equation of 2x plus y equals to 5. Are there more than these three? Yeah, we can easily find out other ordered pairs. For example, when x equals to 2.5, y will be equals to 1. Uh, sorry, you will be equal to 0. Work it out yourself. Okay, when x equals to, for example, 0 0.5, y will therefore be equals to 4. So we can include these ordered pairs into our graph but why stop at x equals to 0 0.5 1 1.5 2 2.5 why not go in between okay what about when x equals to maybe 1.6 what will our corresponding value of y be so 2 times of 1.6 plus y equals to 5 y must be equals to 5 minus 3.2 which is 1.8 okay so when x is 1.6 okay 1.6 over here y is equals to 1.8 So we've got many, many more crosses. In fact, we can draw even more, come up with even more ordered pairs. If we were to join them up, what do you think you will see? What does this shape give you? It gives you a straight line.
Okay, it gives you this straight line in blue color. So our observations. A pair of x and y values which satisfy the equations are known as the solutions of 2x plus y equals to 5. So any point on this blue line represents a pair of a set of solutions. In fact, if we plotted everything out, we'll get many, many of these crosses. How many of such crosses do you think there are? That will be the number of solutions. So in this case, it has many solutions. In fact, we can say that it has infinite. So to answer this question, it has infinite number of solutions. So another way of putting it on the next page, the solutions of 2x plus y equals to 5, they are actually the coordinates of all the points on a straight line. So this refers to all the little crosses, all the positions of the little crosses. And these ordered pairs, they form a straight line. Therefore, the equation, this equation, is called a linear equation. And the line is known as the solution. Okay. Question 3, write down the gradient. When you're told to write down, you don't need to calculate. You're not expected to calculate. So if you had done what I said, to rewrite it in terms of y equals to mx plus c, you should see that the gradient is negative 2. Alternatively, you can calculate it from your straight line. Choose two points find the rise over the run. Okay, next we also require the x-intercept and the y-intercept. You should be familiar with the term y-intercept because it is where the graph cuts the y-axis. And we also know that it is our c value over here. So in this case, it cuts the y-axis at 5. So my y-intercept must be 5. Our x-intercept is where the line cuts the x-axis. So this being our x-axis, it cuts at the value 